It is a beautiful day here in St. Petersburg. Uh, my name is Mike Sutton, and I have the pleasure of serving as the President and CEO of Habitat for Humanity. On behalf of our organization, thank you for being with us today. Uh, this is the 695th home that Habitat has built in our community. And over the course of the next week, we'll actually celebrate the completion of six homes on our way to the 700th home. But today is all about the Baxter family. Yeah. And, and I started this off without bringing the Baxter family up. They're usually standing next to me. So Lakeisha, why don't you and the kids come on up and uh, we'll get started here this morning. If y'all would please uh, join me in welcoming the Baxter family. You ready? Are you sure? All right. Um, this is a very special day on many fronts. Obviously, it's a it's a big day for the Baxter family as they receive the keys to their brand new home. Um, it's also a historical day uh, in the in the uh, in it, for the the Newton family. Um, this piece of property that we're standing on, we'll talk about here in a little bit, but it was donated by Mr. Wingay Newton and family. Uh, this was their childhood home in which they grew up in, um, and this property was donated to Habitat to provide an affordable housing uh, opportunity for a local family. So we'll talk a little bit about that here in a moment. Um, and we also want to thank our folks from Iberia Bank, which is part of now First uh, Horizon Bank. Uh, this is uh, They are partnering with us on their very first uh, project with us. They are one of our loan providers, and so they will be partnering with the family. And so thank you all so much for that support as well. So to kick us off here, I'm going to introduce uh, City of St. Petersburg Councilwoman, Deborah Fig Sanders, to bring uh, a welcome on behalf of the city. Deborah. Morning. This is a blessed morning. God saw fit to give us a little sunshine through the clouds and he spared us some much needed rain. But I always come not wanting to just only represent the city of St. Petersburg. I come because I understand the joy that Ms. Baxter must feel in her heart to now all of a sudden be a homeowner. To be able to provide for her children. To be able to have something that she calls her own. But I always never ever just talk to the parent. I talk to the children. Because of the sacrifice that she's made, the hours that she's worked, the prayers, I know that she has prayed because you will always have somewhere to call home. So I'm gonna ask you to love mommy. I'm gonna ask you to listen to mommy. I'm gonna ask her to help you, and you to help her keep this your home. She should never have to worry. She should never have to cry. She should never have to wonder how she's going to provide and you not be here to help hold her hand. So again, I want to thank uh, Mr. Newton for, for donating this land, a major part of home ownership. And on the behalf of the city of St. Petersburg, thank you all of you that had a part in this to Habitat, one of my most favorite organizations solely because of their mission. I thank you. For their partners, I thank you. And for all that are here again on behalf of Mayor Rick Kreisman and Ed Monnier, the chair of our St. Petersburg City Council, we welcome you, we thank you, and congratulations. We're gonna have Deborah talk to all children <laughs> moving forward. All right, um, let me introduce Susan Sullivan. Susan has been a longtime Habitat supporter, served on our board of directors many years ago, um, but has been involved with Habitat for 20 plus years. Um, and she is a Habitat homeowner partner. And so what she does is she partners with our Habitat families and helps shepherd them through the program. Um, she's there uh, as an ear, um, uh, as they're going through struggles and, and uh, acquiring their hours. Uh, but Susan's here to present the Bible on behalf of Habitat to the family. Susan. Um, good morning. I just wanted to present this Bible and just hope for your family to have a lot of love and a lot of peace in your home, new home. And congratulations. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. 
Thank you, Susan. Okay. At Habitat, we have a, a very talented group of individuals that help to construct these homes. They work with our subcontractors on a daily basis. They help coordinate all the volunteer work that's done on the homes. Um, and Kirsten Valentine is one of those staff members. Where did she go? There she is. Um, and she actually led this con the construction on this house. And so Kirsten's here to present you with your, uh, uh, your hammer. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to give Keisha her hammer. And at the beginning, she was so quiet and so timid. And she was like, these tools, they're scare me. I'm like, no, it's fine. We're going to learn them together. And towards the end, she's like, I got this. I know how to do it. I'd have volunteers come out. She's like, don't worry, guys. We got this. I know what I'm doing. I know how to use that tool. So I know you can use this one. And I know you can use them all. And you won't need it today. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with Keisha. And I'm just so happy we got to work on this home alongside her. So. Thank you. you have her cell phone number? Okay. You anything wrong with the house, call her. Don't call me. Call call Kirsten. Um oh, let me introduce Doug Beavis. Doug is here representing the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce. Uh, he has a few other board members with him, um, and they have a, 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 a side arm of the chamber that's been partnering with us over the last year. And so Doug, come on up. Good morning, everybody. We got our board members up here. Joe, you can come on up or you're taking pictures. So um, Holiday Sharing Fund started about 10 years ago, and recently we paired up with Habitat for Humanity. We've given away hundreds of bikes over those 10 years, but ever since we paired up with Habitat for Humanity, um, it's really been great. Kids Pedal Power was born about a couple of months ago because we thought that really embraced what, what we do, which is giving bikes to the kids. Aww. Is it, am I doing that? <laughs> I have that effect on kids, so. Um, Rick is here, Brian is here. I don't know if you want to say anything, but one of the things that we do is you get a new home, which I think is amazing on our way to 700, but we want the kids to have something too. So we present you with three bikes. We might've missed on yours. You're a little taller than we thought. So congratulations on your new home. Thank you. So in order to get to a day like today, it takes so many partners coming together. We mentioned our finance partner on this house, uh, Iberia Bank. Uh, it takes the city uh, and their support. So again, thank you, Deborah, and to the city of St. Petersburg for working with us on the permitting and zoning for this property. Uh, it takes hundreds of volunteer hours of sweat equity to go into these homes. And it also takes a willing homeowner partner. And so Lakeisha has completed over 350 sweat equity hours in the Habitat program. She's also completed over 20 home buyer education classes. And those education classes teach her everything from how to be a good neighbor uh, to the financial aspect of owning own, her own home. And so we could not be more proud of you for the work that you've done to get to today. Um, and it also takes a uh, willing sponsor on the home. And so we were very fortunate that um, a number of years ago, uh, we partnered with Mr. Wingate Newton, uh, who served eight years on the city council here in St. Petersburg, uh, and also uh, a number of years as a Florida representative up in Tallahassee. Um, and the one thing I'll say about Wingate um, is that uh, uh, he has been a very strong advocate for affordable home ownership. Um, and it's a, it's a conversation we've had many times over the years about there, there is just such a shortage of affordable home ownership, but yet there is such a massive need. Um, and so we're extremely thankful for Wingay and his family. I know his wife, Melissa, is here, uh, his sister's here, and, and a few others. Uh, but I'd like to introduce Wingay Newton at this time so he can talk a little bit about this property um, and, uh, and this home that we've now built in memory of his mother. So Wingay. At the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Good morning. Good morning. It's a great morning. It's a little eerie feeling standing up here. Um, I want to congratulate the Baxter family. I mean, it's, no one's more worthy. Um, my story, my life story uh, started here. Um, mm. It's been a long journey. My mom, my mom left here. Uh, 
um, it was April morning, uh, 1985. She got up and read her Bible. Uh, started having chest pains. And then she went down. To the, uh, my brother, my youngest brother, called the paramedics. And they came out and took her down to Bayfront. And uh, they told us that um, they would get her situated. And they called us back. Around 9 o'clock, we got the call that she had, she had passed on. And it was, um, it was terrible. It was 1985. It's around this time in the morning. And um, she was 47 years young, raising eight kids. And she didn't get by herself on this very property. My family and I thought in our robbery to make sure that we try to honor her memory and pay it for it to another young mom doing the same thing. So they can have a home base for their family. So they can know the value of, of affordable home ownership, equity, and generational wealth. That's huge. What you see happening in this beautiful city of ours is that a lot of people can't stay here anymore. They can't afford to stay here anymore. They're getting priced out and put out. So my goal has always been to make sure that they're able to um, enjoy the fruits of home ownership. You know, I was talking to Ms. Baxter earlier this morning and um, was telling uh, Mike and I, uh, I was talking about how the, uh, what the appraised value was of the, of the home. And that um, she never had to worry again about rent going up or having to worry about uh, someone evicting her, putting her and her family out, or having to worry about what you're gonna work up, what you're gonna wake up at, and what you're gonna do in the morning. You know, um, it was um, it was a dream of my mom's to make sure that we had somewhere. It wasn't this nice, but it was home. So when the time came when I was serving on council, I owned this slide and also the one next door, um, I was unable to, uh, fulfilled the dream of purchasing or building a home for a family to be able to live in. So I reached out to Habitat and um, they graciously took the property. And I want to thank Mike Sutton and the whole Habitat family because this is what they do. This has been my love from day one on council. This is nothing new for me. From council to Tallahassee, I always fought for the money. I think for the first time we got, we're successful in preventing them from raiding the Sadowski Housing Trust Fund, the last session I was up there, providing $380 million for affordable housing and affordable home ownership. That was huge. So the mission is, is still real. And I, 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 I know I paid Mike, Mike a lot of harm. And some people hate that. They don't like that. But I'm going to tell you, I served under three mayors through a recession, a deep recession, and a surplus. And only one industry, one organization was putting homes in the ground, providing affordable home ownership through it all. That was their mission and they stuck to it. And I want to thank Mike for his leadership and the organization for doing that. Because but for, but for Habitat, individuals like Ms. Baxter behind me would not be able to realize this dream. She has some place now her kids, as Kelsey, uh, woman Sandra said, can call home. It's important. We played curve ball right there on the screen. We played um, um, home base. When you run around and test the tree, it was always home. I told the kids we had actual games that we had to actual play. We couldn't push the button and download the app. We had to do something. Played jack stones on the, on the front sidewalk with my sister and them. So um, um, it's, it's bittersweet. These were emotional tears, so don't take it the wrong way. And my wife, Melissa, um, we'll celebrate 31 years of marriage this month on August uh, 25th, actually uh, coming up. And um, it's, it's been a labor of love. We uh, took over the lot and we were providing the maintenance for it, paying the taxes and all that to make sure that when the Habitat got it, it was, uh, it was clear they can do what they needed to do. And I'm glad Mike told me way back when, I, I was up in Tallahassee, he said, I'm gonna put a lot of your mama, your mama lot. I'm like, yeah, right, you ain't even put nothing in midtown. <laughs> but here we are. So it's a man of his word. I also want to give a, um, uh, recognize my pastor, Pastor Wallace Elliott is here, then they're going to bless the home. 
later on, but I, I, I thank him. He came out when we did the uh, the uh, Bible dedication. We buried the Bible right here in the, in the doorway, one of my mom's uh, family Bibles. So the house will always have uh, God first, and if they keep God first, I think everything will be all right. I um, want to, um, again, uh, congratulate the Baxter family. And um, um, and from the Newton family, thank you. Thank you guys for letting us be a part of it. And um, to my mom, hey, we did it. <laughs> Mike is all the character. He won't let me keep the keys. Damn. <laughs> I thought I had a free house. <laughs> Miss Baxter, come on. I think these belong to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Wingay, Melissa, uh, and to the entire Newton family. Um, we appreciate you all so much. Uh, obviously, this would not have happened today if it wasn't for... Uh, uh, for the love of your, your mother, and, and we, uh, we, we're all so thankful for you uh, giving back to the community in this way. Lakeisha, you want to say a few words? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank y'all for coming out. I wrote a little letter. <laughs> I'm nervous, so please forgive me. I'd like to first start off by thanking God for this day and now to become a homeowner. This has been my dream for a very long time. I've done so many things these past couple of years to better myself to be able to stand up here on my porch today to receive my keys to our new home. I would like to thank Habitat for accepting me into the program. When I, was, when I received a call from Jack on October 16th, I was excited and full of joy. I forgot I was in a dentist's office and I cried tears of happiness and joy. I was so excited and I was so happy. The Habitat staff has taught me so much and prepared me for this day. For this day in, in my future as a homeowner. I'm so thankful for everything that they have done. I'm, I met so many people going, going through this journey. I even built a sister bond with Kirsten, my site supervisor. Kirsten is amazing and she knows her stuff. I, like, I would like to thank Miss Sandra for always being so sweet and encouraging. I also like to say a special thank you to Mr. Wingate and his family. I thank you for him from the bottom of my heart. My kids and I wouldn't be able to stand up here on the porch today if it wasn't for you and your family. Thank you so much. I also like to thank my god mom for pushing me and not allowing me to give up. She always was listening to me cry and complain about everything, but she was right there to keep me grounded, and I thank you. I always, I always wanted to, I also want to thank everybody for all their support when I needed them, when I needed them to watch my kids, when I needed them for anything that was there. My kids and I are so very thankful for the Habitat program. This is our home. We are extremely happy to be standing on our porch. Thank you so much, Habitat. Lakeisha, congratulations. You've set an amazing example for your kids um, and, uh, and, and you now have a safe, decent home to call home. So congratulations. We're, everyone here is so proud of you for what you've accomplished. Um, and I think what we're gonna do next is bless the home. And so I want to invite your pastor, Reverend James Davis, to come up. And I also want to invite Wingay's pastor, who's here, to come on up. Uh, you can never have too many pastors to bless a house. And so we'll invite both of them to come up. But we're also going to invite all of you to come up and find a place to lay your hand on the home. And we're going to say a blessing over the house, and then we're going to open that front door uh, for the first time. Now, if you both are talking, this can't be a 30-minute sermon. But we'll, go ahead, sir. Good morning. I'm Reverend Davis. In the meantime, we are here because of the will of God, most of all, and having people of God to do the things that have been done here. And uh, there's so much things going on, and we're not going to keep it too much longer because 
Thank you, thank you for everything that's been said so much. And uh, the owner of the new home is thanks. Uh, as I turn to uh, the gospel according to Matthew in the fifth chapter and first verse, it starts out with blessing. And all things uh, that come from God is a blessing. Don't let nobody else fool you and say it's somebody else, somebody else did it. Uh, but God blessed them to be a blessing to somebody else. Uh, you always want, you get yours and you keep it for yourself. But then when you spread it around, that blessings come from God. And uh, because you say, well, you know, as Ms. Newton said, uh, uh, you know, they gave it. But then in the meantime, they wouldn't have it to give it if it wasn't for the blessing of God. And so we want to give him the thanks. We want to bless this house today uh, because every square inch of it, every square inch of the lot, we want to be blessed because there is a blessing in giving. Yeah. One thing I learned down through the years, if God bless it, nobody can curse it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, again, I'm Pastor Elliot from the First Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. And truly, it is a pleasure to stand here and um, dedicate this house in prayer on behalf of uh, this Baxter family. And truly, the Lord is good. There can be no happy occasion for a family than to participate in the dedication of a house, which will soon become a home. God has blessed this family, which will occupy this home with a great blessing. Let us pray. We thank God Almighty for the Newton family and their supporters which have used their resources to build this home in honor of their late mother, Sister Susie Newton. We give thanks to God for the builders who constructed this house. We pray today that this house will be filled with the presence of God. We ask God to protect, preserve, and provide for the occupants of this house. May the foundations of this house represent truth and righteousness. May the walls of this house shed in love, peace, and joy. May the furnishing of this house symbolize the fruit of the Spirit. As we stand here today, we ask God, which is the master builder, to allow harmony, truth, and love to reign throughout this home. May every room in this house be a room of prayer, whereby the family can go to give thanks and praises to God for such a wonderful blessing. These things we ask now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 